Merck with Team Relinquish. Um, so last night I went to Travis's store, Cards and Board Games. I ended up going X11 with Tractrix Amazement. I decided to just build the deck kind of out of nowhere. Uh, just kind of out of board with it. And yeah, let's get on to the deck profile. So we're going to start off best normal sum of the deck, Triple Mermelio. Search any of your trap holes. Double Mantis, search any of your trap tricks monsters. Second best normal sum of the deck. The Wolf Park of the deck, if you even know what that is. Uh, Dianea, she brings back any of the trap tricks monsters from Grave. Make rank fours, make link plays, do whatever you need to do. Also, when she's special summon, uh, reset a trap. And then two of the new one, Vesiculo. Um, I didn't really use the second effect to actually reset the trap mainly, just use her to spell some and just go off from there. Now, the amazement package, I only played two of the administrator, two of the big guy. Um, it's pretty good for the most part, it's just multi figure. And I played double parallel exceed just for the extender to make Reflasia, make any other rank floor. I said floor, I meant four. And then one Panger Tops, Panger Tops, of course, uh, just in case I have to go second. Um, just a great card. Great one of. Next for the spells, I only play five spells. Double Amazement Time Ticket. Um, two was good. I was playing, I put three in at first, but I wanted to make room for a couple other traps. It worked out pretty well. So I when I needed uh, Double Prosperity, same thing. Two was good. Didn't really need a third one. Didn't really miss it. And then the one call for the grave. Gotta stop Ash, gotta stop hand traps like normal. Now for the traps, I played double bottomless trap hole, double floodgate, double grave zigger. This is what I've been playing trap tricks for a while now. Um, this card's busted because you make Reflage on the fifth summon, it just outs Nibiru, it outs any other hand trap. And then floodgate's just broken against so many decks right now. Next, I played three Shea Brigadine. You want to see it in your opening hand. Uh, going second, I normally side one or two out just because you don't want to see it going second because you'll normally use Imperm or something like that, which is next, triple Imperm, the only hand trap I play in the deck. Um, this is a good card. It's pretty good right now still. So. Next for the Amazement Traps, I play three of the Horror House, which this is a Book of Moon or Imperm as well. I play two of the Coaster. Um, it's either MST or it searches and then one of the rapid racing that one's kind of like a call by the grave not really it shuffles back a monster from the grave which isn't bad against certain decks especially like dinos or tri brigade even sometimes like invoke you can shuffle back their alistair so it's not too bad uh next i played double strike uh it's good to have the counter trap just every once in a while it lets you outfield as well well you out a couple things Double Ice Dragon's Prison is good against the meta. The only thing it's really not good against is Drytron, but it's still good against pretty much almost everything else. And then the one Imperial Order. Um, yeah, sorry, Jose. I drew this all three games against them. This card's busted. That's it for the main deck. It was 42 cards. Play three Sarah. Um, this is always one of the cards I banished off of Pot. You never really need to go into all three, but... Your XX kind of, you kind of have free space, so it doesn't really matter. I play one of the new trap tricks, the Kilara. I went into it a couple times, not too bad or anything. I just went into it just uh, to get Sarah off the field because Sarah was just too weak at the time. The one Earth Charmer, um, this card's actually pretty good, especially in this deck against Zoo, against Dinos, against a couple decks that just play Earth Monsters for no reason. It's fun taking my opponent's panker tops and using it multiple times because they forget that it's not it's once per turn, but I can use it every turn. Small little nightmare package, the Phoenix plus a unicorn. Uh, just out problematic cards. And then of course always to go with that. Access Code Talker also out problematic cards and going for OTKs and stuff like that. That's it for Link Monsters for the Xyz, the one Reflasia. Um, like I said, if it's summon, you normally want to have this out. Just gives you extra protection, extra interruption. The one dweller. Um, it's pretty good right now, especially against Dinos versus Tri Brigade versus Drytron, a couple other decks, uh, Shadals. The one Exotonite, this card's actually kind of funny. It actually won me, it kind of won me a game against Eldridge. Uh, Zoo Eldridge, actually. Uh, the one Tornado Dragon is shrouding. 
more spells and traps, of course. One type, the free door, you can make that with Bardiche. Not Bardiche, uh, Brigadine. And then you get an extra interruption there. And then I play a small Utopia package. I'm not playing Utopia Double, as you saw, no double or nothing in the main deck. I am playing the Utopia Lightning, though. It lets you out um, pretty much any problematic mounts there. There's nothing really too big over 5k. Um, and even if, like, there was, there's trap cards for that. Side deck, I always tell everybody it's always player preference, depending on what you want to do. Three Lancia, it's good against the meta right now, it's good against Dino, good against Trap Brigade, good against Invoke. The One Feather Duster, which is weird for a trap deck to be siding this, but it's good against other trap decks. Triple Dark for a little more, just out of field, so I can potentially get rid of it, or just so I can actually continue playing. Uh, going first, double anti spell to go with the one Imperial Order in the main deck so I don't get hit by Feather Duster, Lightning Storm, Twin Twister, Cosmic, any stuff like that. And Triple Judgment, another card that outs evenly matched and stuff like that. Um, and then the last three cards, Triple Evenly for going second, of course. It's a busted card, you can activate this and then summon the Amazement Monster. Um, yeah, actually pretty good against Eldritch, Tri Brigade. It's good against a whole bunch of decks that put up a field but never put up in the gate. So, it works. That's pretty much it. Um, the deck performed pretty well. Like I said, it was kind of a last minute thing. I just put it together the night before. I didn't really know how it was going to work. It worked out. So, that's all that matters. I topped with it. I got top eight. All right, guys. Signing off.